I said it before and I'll say it again. Okay, so as promised, this is the start of the second part of the video for the Silver FN2. As you've seen in the original video, we fitted a Jap Speed manifold and a Teguar 70mm exhaust system. Now this car is, uh, we've got power figures before, so we could overlay them on the graph and show you the power figures after. I'll make some nice videos of the noise on the dyno and let's see if it's made some gains. I know it will do but we will actually get that down on paper. Let's go for it. Okay, so power runs complete, test, test results are in. So, blue line. Blue line was the car with just an induction kit and a map. And that made 212 brake. Now, we're doing no mapping whatsoever and just bolting on a Jap speed manifold with exhaust. We're at 216, nearly 217 brake. So that's good going. A little bit more foot pound. And you can see that we're not just talking about peak numbers. We're talking about numbers in the mid range. So if I bring this on here, this is the difference that we're talking about. So the, this is the actual difference in brake horsepower really that you're gonna feel when you're driving it. So let me just pause this video and bring up the next piece of information. So I can see that at this point in the rev range, which is like 5,951 RPM here, so and all the way up across here, we have originally, before the Jap Speed and the Teguar system, we had 158 brake horsepower. And now, the green line, we have 168. That's 10 brake horsepower in the mid range from a Jap Speed manifold and a Teguar um, 70 mil system. I think that's pretty good going for bolt for bolt on mods. Right then. Next up is to fine tune this with the Ecotech software. As you can see, the mods that we've got are cold air intake. So this is all it had last time it was mapped. Um, it's now got the Teguar catback and the Jap Speed manifold. So we're gonna map this car again and uh, get the best out of it. Make sure that it's safe. Make sure that the fuel is correct. Um, using the Ecotech software, uh, we don't know whether there's going to be gains here, but that's something we're going to find out on the dyno. We just got to make sure that it's running bang on. So that is the task at hand.
okay, results are in. So this is uh, after it's been mapped with the new part. So Japsby Radifold and Teguar 70mm exhaust system. So um, the red line is uh, just with the parts bolted on and the blue line is with us giving it a tweak on the Ecotec software that's already installed. Um, gains in the mid range from four and a half grand all the way across. So well worth doing with a little map there. Uh, ended the day on 216 and 154. And if I just scroll down a little bit, that's a wheel horsepower gain of about six brake. There you go. Customer's got to be happy with that. Sounds great as well, doesn't it? I think, uh, I think I need to have a look at my exhaust and hopefully get my manifold on soon. Remember guys to let me know what what mods you've got if you've got similar mods to this um i'd like to know what cold cold air intakes you've got now because this one's got what looks like a, a skunk 2 replica um so i'd like to know if any of you guys are running skunk 2 actuals um and how you feel about those uh, but generally whatever induction kit you're using i'd like to know and i'd like to hear your experiences so uh, drop us a like on this video uh, consider subscribing and all that jazz and uh like i say end of the month merchandise someone's going to win some stuff so make sure you commented on the videos and i can see who's uh, who's helping us out thanks all